Now to our style section, where we're giving you an all access backstage pass to a celebrity look. They are one of the hottest girl bands around and we're stealing the style of Fifth Harmony's Camilla Cabello. Helping us emulate this look and get you ready for your festival glamping is industry expert, Lara Himpleman. Camilla keeps it cute and casual. Her style always reflects fun, simple makeup and party ready hair. So today we're going to be showing you the fun festival eye that Camilla loves to sport. Uh, also natural lips and really beautiful glowy skin. Should we get started? Okay, so we've started off with a really beautiful glowy base. Next step we're going to start with is the brows. Camilla likes to have her brow really full and fluffy. So I'm going to be using a brow gel with a bit of colour in it. So all I do is just brush it in an upwards motion. For more definition, lightly trace an eyebrow pencil at the ends of the brow to create more shape. Okay, so next up we're going to start with a primer for the eyeshadow. So what's really essential about using primer on the eyes? Well, the main reason really is for it to act like Velcro for the eyeshadow to go on top. Next, smudge a black coal pencil as close to the lash line as possible, about three quarters of the way along the upper and lower lashes. Then use a dense eyeshadow brush in a circular motion to blend the edges. Cool, what's next? So we're going to be using a shimmery eyeshadow like Camilla likes to use. You want to just press all over the lid I'm really loving the sparkliness on it. Okay, so next, the lashes. So we're going to be doing a little bit of a corner lash. So you want to take your tweezers and then you want to hold it as close to the lash line as possible. So now the lashes are on, it's time to put on tons and tons of mascara. You're looking more and more like Camilla Cabello as we go on. Yeah. It's insane. <laughs> okay, so this is the eye finished. So on to lips. So I'm using a lip liner first. And you want to go a shade darker than your natural lip colour just to give you a really nice definition. Next, quickly tap on a rose-tinted balm for a hint of colour to keep lips gorgeously moisturised all day. I'm going to do the finishing touches to the skin, creating a really nice glow. So first of all with the bronzer, I'm going to take it into a figure of three. After you've got your contour, you just want to add a little bit of blush onto the apples of the cheeks. So to really get that A-list skin, highlighter is really important. Create a C-shape from the brow bone around the top part of the cheekbone. You look incredible. Now it's time to texturise the hair and get those festival buns. So today we're going to be creating the hun, which is a half bun. And as Camilla knows, two huns are always better than one. So we'll be styling both of the buns on top of the head, either side, for the perfect festival finish. So start with a texturising salt spray and you want to spritz evenly through either dry or towel dried hair and you want to focus it from mid length to ends and then tease it with your fingertips. This will create really beachy waves and the hair will feel full of texture. Using a volumising powder will give you maximum volume and a perfect texture for both buns to stay in place. Put it into your palms, then you want to rub your palms together and then just massage it in, focusing on the roots. It's a bit 90s this look, isn't it? It is very Bjork, Spice Girls. But we're obviously keeping it the half bun, so half up, half down, so it keeps it a little bit more modern as well. So what's next? Next is sectioning. So you want to leave a little bit forward like Camilla does. Take your little finger at the top of your ear and actually section all the way up and put it into a ponytail, bringing it quite tight around the hairband. And then you want to take some Kirby grips and just make sure it's really secure right at the base. So Camilla really likes a messy bun, so what we're doing here is just teasing it out back and forward with your fingers like this. So moving on to the other side, keeping it loose again, don't keep it too perfect. To finish, spray the buns and lower length of the hair with a texturising hairspray to give a natural and touchable finish. Use your fingers to tassel the hair. So would you say this is better on uh, freshly washed hair or day or two old hair? I would say day or two old hair, purely because it gives it more texture. So we could finish it here, which is a great look, but I'm going to take it one step further with a, a trend that's really hot this season, the glitter parting. So I'm going to use a hair gel down the centre of the parting for the glitter to stick to. I've got three colours of glitter. It's like pixie dust. <laughs> and I'm going to set it with the same texturising hairspray that we used before. Okay, so this is the finished Camilla Cabello look. Perfect and ready for the festival season. Do you know what? I love it. I genuinely thought originally this would be kind of daunting, but now I've seen it, I can't wait to try it myself. It's so easy. We're keeping it cute and casual and channeling that summer festival fashion with some on-trend high-waisted denim and a 90s crop top for an effortlessly cool look. 